Hey guys, Mark here from Santino Cigars and Cocktail, Santino Sunday Cigar Review. Sitting here this week for just the tip, and we're going to do a tip talk. We're going to talk tobacco a little bit. Mike is here with me, and Max is here as well, if you all know Rob. Um, we got a couple of uh, questions here that we're, we're going to go over, and just different rounds of, of stuff that involves tobacco. So, Mike, why don't you go first? All right, commonly asked question from a lot of customers, how does ring gauge and length affect the taste of a cigar? And this is kind of like my pet peeve. So here in this country, we think bigger is better, right? We all buy diesel one-ton pickup trucks, and we don't need anything more than a Ford Ranger, okay? But we just think it's always better. So same thing with cigars can be said. Look, there's people. some people just like big ring gauge cigars. But if you think back to the manufacturing, the process, the rollers, the, the time and effort that goes into these things, the original intent behind these were a, a significant smaller ring gauge. If you think of Cuban cigars and all what Cubans smoke, they smoke a, a thinner ring gauge. The reason is because the intended taste is, is achieved when it's at that, what, 48 to 52? Arguably, yeah. Arguably, in general. Some people prefer the most Right, so what happens is as you get in a bigger ring gauge, they're not putting that same tobacco in it. They have to backfill it with what I call lesser tobacco or other tobacco fillers, right. which is still going to have some of that resemble some of that same taste, but that's why when you see these awards, like this cigar was Cigar of the Year, but it lists a specific size, right. that's because that size, not the whole cigar in that lineup, achieved that right. recognition. And so in America, what we gotta realize is try something different. Um, there is something to be said about these smaller ring gauges. Yeah. Yeah. And in, a, in perfect tasting notes, um, the thinner the cigar, the, it doesn't necessarily just have to be longer, but the thinner the cigar, you're actually gonna taste more of the wrapper leaf and the binder versus everything else. As Mike said, when you get to some of these, these circuit sizes like the 70s, 80s, you know, even even some lower end made 60s and 56s and 54s, you get in there and you've got the wrapper, but that space needs to be filled. Like you said, you know, you take a, a, a lower priming filler, it goes in there, you're gonna get some of the same taste, but the point you made exactly about this cigar won this. It's not this cigar line with this name won this. It's this cigar in this size on this day won this award. So, yeah, like you said, man. All right, Jackson? Uh, a lot of times I've heard the question, you know, I'm new to smoking cigars. How do I find out what I really like? And the best way I can put it, really, uh, you might find bigger ring gauges, whatever, Maduro's versus Connecticut's, all that stuff. These guys are tobacconists. Have them put together a little five pack or something like that for you that covers that, that range so that you can actually maybe find one that you actually hit on and really like. And it, it's, it's very simple. And I always tell people if you're really new, get two of everything. Smoke two. Because you may smoke one you may have had a meal right before you smoked it, or you, you might have, you know, depending on what your mood is like, what time of day it is. I always try to smoke two of everything to really get the idea. Do I really like it, or I really don't? Right. Yeah, that adage, I'll try everything once, I don't think really works. It's not I right. tried that with women. Stay with one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so one that's, one that's really popular, especially in the summertime, is you come in and people ask about Connecticut and complain about Connecticut rappers and what happens. A Connecticut wrapper is the most fragile wrapper that, that is grown, period. There's nothing more fragile than it when it comes to how smooth it is, how soft it is, how thin it is. Um, the During the summer, the excess amounts of heat and the humidity, especially if they're not stored right, or the biggest mistake you see people do is they grab some cigars and take somewhere with them, and they're not carrying it properly humidified, travel humidor, or even a Ziploc bag that's humidified properly and stored with no light, somewhere where it can be kept safe, those those wrappers will crack. They are very sensitive. Um, uh, Connecticut wrappers, make sure if you're smoking something Connecticut, smoke it somewhere in, 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 if you can inside, where the temperature stays in the 70s, it stays down where it's supposed to be, you'll have better luck with it. Um, over lighting the cigar is always another reason that it's going to crack. Okay, If you set it on fire and you blow it out and then you start smoking it, that heat's going to transfer and it's going to crack that fragile leaf. 
Mark, should people, when buying a Connecticut wrap cigar in this time of year in summer, should they let it climatize for five or ten minutes before they light it coming yes. out of the humidor? Yeah. That's another thing people I it's think make a mistake. Especially if you're not, if you're smoking inside the lounge or the store in which you bought it, hopefully you're okay because you would hope that the area is being held. But even then, I would say, you know, get it, pay for it, set it down. Get yourself situated, cut it, then like give it some time to breathe in the air and get before you just pick yeah, it up and chop it up and meet it up. So that's our tip this week. Hope you guys enjoyed our little little chit chat, answered a few questions. If you guys have any questions at all during our show, whether it's just a tip or it's the Sunday show, leave the questions. We got a cool little panel that's gonna be coming up in a couple of months for you guys. So leave the questions, we'll put them together and there's always a chance for someone to win something cool. That's this week's just a tip.